Hello again from Digicore Things. The popular TL8662 Plus programmer was recently offered in a special black edition. This special black edition includes a much higher quality Ares branded zero insertion for socket. The Ares zero insertion for socket not only looks much higher quality, it's clearly a much more solidly built socket and has a more robust latching action on closing and opening the socket. Interestingly, the Aries latching mechanism is more logical. It's in its home position when the contacts are closed. What I mean by this is that the latch is tensioned when moving it to the open vertical position to insert your ROM and then snaps to the horizontal closed position to securely retain the chip. With the regular 3M branded sockets, this action is reversed. The latch is in its non-tensioned homed position when open, when the lever is vertical. Closing the contacts involves applying tension to lower the latch to the horizontal closed position. This means that with the 3M branded sockets, the socket is tensioned whenever a chip is mounted and knocking a lever can cause the socket to snap open. Whereas on the higher quality Aries socket, the socket is tensioned only while open, and then snaps closed. A much more secure arrangement. In addition, the black Ares Zero Insertion Force socket features precision machined round pins, which allows the socket itself to be mounted in a similar machined round pin IC socket. On the Black Edition TL866 programmer, the Ares Zero Insertion Force socket is indeed mounted in a quality IC socket, which allows the Zero Insertion Force socket to be removed and replaced, should this ever be required. Overall, the special black edition TL866 is a very nice upgrade and provides a bit of a collector's edition of the popular TL866 programmer. So, to celebrate this, I've decided to offer a special black and gold edition of my TL866 programmer adapter for 27C322 and 27C400, 800 or 160 EEPROMs. As with the original, the black and gold edition is also available in either kitset form or fully assembled and tested from the Digical Things Tindy store. Let's take a closer look at the black edition kitset and I'll then demonstrate assembly. Alongside the usual PCB with all the SMD components pre-fitted, the rotary bank select switch, and the device select switch you now get the high quality black Aries zero insertion force socket with matching quality machined round pin IC sockets I've also swapped out the regular single inline pin headers of the original kit for matching quality machined round pin gold plated pin headers. Hence the black and gold edition. Right, so now let's assemble a kit set. Firstly, as with the original kit, if your single inline header strip was supplied as a single 40 pin strip, you need to use your side cutters to cut it into two 20 pin lengths. The easiest way I've found of doing this is to measure the 20 pins using the holes on the PCB. It's also worth noting that unlike the original kit, there is no need to trim one of the header strips. 
and the gold plated round pin strip sits nicely under the supplied round pinned IC sockets. So as we did with the original kit set, we start assembling by mounting the switches. I start with the slide switch, which can go in either orientation. So let's get that soldered in. followed by the rotary encoder switch, which just pops into the PC with its crimped pins. Okay, let's get that soldered. Next, I use an old breadboard to align the header pin strips and ensure they are soldered in perpendicular. So let's get those soldered in. I first solder the end pins before I then move the board over to my soldering stand. And finally, we need to solder in the round pin IC sockets. So drop those in place. And let's get those soldered. Once all 99 solder joints have been completed, 
The last step is to fit the zero insertion force socket into its adapter socket and the kit set assembly is complete. The assembled adapter fits nicely into both the original TL866 programmer and it also makes a very nice match for the Black Edition TL866 programmer. One other possibility that's worth mentioning is that you can also remove the 40 pin zero insertion force socket from the Black Edition programmer and directly fit the Black and Gold Edition adapter's machined round pin headers into the TL866's round pin socket. In place of its 40 pin zero insertion force socket this makes a very nice lower profile 27C322, 27C400, 27C800 or 27C160 dedicated programmer. Not something you'd probably want to do if you just have one TL866, but if you do a lot of retro EEPROM programming, a dedicated programmer is a nice touch. But that's all for now. If you'd like your own special black and gold edition TL866 adapter, either in kit set form or fully assembled and tested, then be sure to visit the Digical Things Tindy store and select the black and gold edition option when ordering the TL866 programmer adapter for 27C322 and 27C400-800-160 EEPROMs. As usual, you'll find the link in the description. That's it. Thanks for watching.